You had no authority. Mexico City. What were you doing there? Did you know who your characters were from the script or did you have to kind of create um, much elsewhere? The female characters are so different. Uh, Madeline represents the future, a very modern woman into action. And Lucia, my character, she's a widow, an Italian widow with secrets. And she comes from a world where men have the only power. So she represents uh, a 50 years old woman and she really looks 50 in the movie because Sam wanted to show the sadness, the loneliness of this woman. They want to escape from a situation. Still, even though she's 50, she has a feminine power on him. Then she trusts him to save her. Yeah. She needs Bond and Madeline doesn't need Bond. Bond needs her. Yes, he does and that chemistry that you guys have is amazing. Of course, when I first met him, I was uh, a little shy because... It's James Bond. <laughs> James Bond. He's such a great actor, but yeah. we had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has a great sense of humor. Oh no, it's, it was great. How do you see the term Bond girl? Do you like it? She's a Bond girl. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, young, modern, in action. And uh, I'm a Bond woman, Bond lady. Bond lady, I like it. I tried to find a definition because actually it's the first time that a woman, a mature woman, has a relation with Bond. And I think it's a very interesting way to represent uh, the ideal of women in some way. It's a new thing. Why should I trust you? Because right now I'm your best chance of staying alive. And in light of the new information I've given him, he's decided to close down the double O program with immediate effect. Uh, being part of this project, that's pretty class. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Yeah. It's epic. The movie is absolutely epic. Mm -hmm. um, I saw it recently myself for the first time. I had sort of seen clips of it before, but uh, it's really nice to be able to watch it. Uh, sort of a little bit like a spectator, because there's lots of bits, of course, that I'm not in, as well as the bits that they have. So, um, uh, yeah, it's, a great, it's been a very exciting time. You don't know what you're doing. It's not personal. It's the future. And... You're not. He's one of these uh, guys. He's yeah, play the head of CNS, and uh, uh, which is the Center for National Security. And um, with all the digital um, uh, developments in the world, he's got this idea that there's a way, there's a way of uh, making people more safe through uh, 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 heavier surveillance. Um, but uh, I would say that he's not lacking in self confidence. Yes. <laughs> it must be so much fun to play someone like that. Yeah, it is. It's 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 great fun, and actually, uh, you get to sort of explore parts of your personality and say things um, uh, that you wouldn't, you don't normally get to say. And not have to apologise for. And not have to apologise. <laughs> <for that. laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. I wouldn't. This isn't over yet. Um, earlier on in the year as well, I saw you uh, on the Equality Day. I was uh, in oh, yeah. Dublin Castle. What a great day! Yeah. Absolutely amazing. How was that day for you? Extraordinary for me. Like a, one of the best days of my life. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. It was really beautiful. It was like as, as my friend Dio Kane said, it was like Rio. Yeah, <laughs> I saw her there too. Actually, it was it was really sunny, beautiful sunny day, and uh, so it was an extraordinary day for Ireland. And uh, I was so thrilled. I mean, actually, there was no doubt, no, no way I was going to miss it. So. I flew home in a couple of days, a few, a few days before, to see what uh, anything that I could um, do to drum up interest in the, in the S vote. So thank God it was. Well, uh, congratulations! Like I said, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah.